Okay, so maybe I've been a little bit harsh so far when it comes to the figures for the upcoming Bumblebee movie. As a matter of fact, very recently I looked at the Dark of the Moon Nitro Bumblebee and said that I thought that that was exponentially better than anything we're getting in the current movie line. And I kind of stand by it, but friend of the channel, Wayne, has been gracious enough to let me sort of balance out that opinion by looking at a couple of offerings from that toy line. The first one, case in point, is going to be this guy from the Speed Series. It's an Energon Igniter, I guess. It's basically a Legion class version of Bumblebee himself, and he's going to be our focus in the latest Got By True review. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Dennis Moulton, a.k.a. Gotbot. As always, please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. Check out Machinery of Man, The Everything Factor, Transformers Collectors, NL, and me everywhere. All those links are, are down in the description. And this is, in essence, a Legion class Bumblebee. Not Legends class. Legion class, and I stand by that. And there's one strange little oddity about this guy that we're going to get into when we look at him closer. Also, I will note right now that we have a 5mm port in the back. Now, it's meant for one of those Energon Igniter cores so that he can pro be propelled across the floor quickly, table, whatever. Uh, but that's not the oddity I'm talking about. I'll admit. This is actually kind of fun. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but fun for what it is. Anyway, without any further ado, let's head over to the table and take a closer look at this guy. And here we are with the 2018 Bumblebee movie, Energon Igniter's Speed Series Volkswagen iteration of B. And I point this out because there are two versions of him in this size class. This one and uh, his Camaro version a la the 2007 movie. This is the way he looks in the latest film. So there you go. The reason it is called an Energon Igniter is because you can use one of those like Energon Igniter core cube things in vehicle mode and it will pro propel him across the ground. Uh, okay. In essence, what this really is, is a Legion class Bumblebee. And I kind of dig the fact that it is at least a little bit of a different mold than the old tried and true movie Legion Bumblebee we've gotten for years that I believe has been used something in the vicinity of 21 or 22 times. You know you know the bee I'm talking about. This is a little bit different. Now it is Legion, not Legends, and call it a pet peeve of mine, but there's a difference. This is the Legends class Titans Return Bumblebee. Next to him is the Legion class Bumblebee movie. Energon Igniter Speed Series Bumblebee. Wow, that's a mouthful. He is smaller. He is thinner. He is lighter weight. He does not have elbows. These are two different size classes. Typically, a Legion will have four or five points of articulation, typically. So there's the difference, there's your size comparison as well with a common legend class figure. So he's, he's a little guy, he's a small guy. Paint apps for the dude, Um, you know, it's, it's yellow and black and silver, it, it's bumblebee, you know. It's actually a decent amount of paint for such a small figure. So I, I'm gonna say eight and a half. Eight and a half. Nah, let's say nine. I'm in a good mood. Let's say nine. Like, it's Bumblebee. You know it's Bumblebee. Is it perfectly accurate? No, obviously not. It's definitely simplified, especially in the um, torso and probably on the legs and probably on the head. But you get the idea. You know, for the size class, it does a pretty, pretty good job of doing justice. What about the articulation? Well, it's actually, I guess, not bad for the size class. There's nothing at the head. The arms can go all the way around. Now, they're limited. Like the outward movement, real limited. That's it. No elbow. The arms, definitely the weak part of this guy. But also, in moving the arms, at least on this copy, 
I find the ball joints tight. They, they've gotten better over time, but I do find them kind of tight. The legs go all the way forward. They go back about that far. We have full splits, however. And, and I will give credit where credit is due. We even have a little bit of a thigh swivel because of the molding around the hip ball joint. And we have a really, really deep knee that I absolutely dig and a little bit of toe tilt forward and back. The, the, you know, from the waist down, the guy is pretty excellent. From the waist up, eh, he's nothing special. I wish the arms were better. You can't do a whole lot with him. Six and a half. He should be better because the legs are great, but the arms are so incredibly hindered that it really kind of ruins the fun of the guy. And truth is, that overused, often overused, uh, Legion class mold that we've gotten for years has better arms than this guy. And that's saying something because the arms on that aren't great either. So we have a nine because I was in a good mood. It, that's probably a bit high. And it's like a six and a half. Overall, this guy's about uh, seven and a half, I guess. It's no KB. It's little. I, you know, it's, it's little. It's fine. I could see how some people might want this as their representation of B, or even movie B, if you kind of want the movie aesthetic, but you still want him to be sort of a mini bot. Like, he, he sort of fits the bill for that, I think. So, seven and a half, we'll say. The, the, going to the transformation, that's not a bad score for something this small. Better than I thought it was going to be, because I've said before that I don't think anything in this line is really worth picking up. Now, I'm not really a, a, you know, a Legion collector, a Legion class collector. If somebody is, then hey, this is probably for you. The conversion, super duper simple. We take the chest, and we fold it up, we take the arms, and we squeeze them in. We take the toes, we fold them in under all the way back, and we peg the legs together. And then we come and fold it all up over, and boom, here we have Bumblebee in his rather adorable little vehicle mode. And it's a super simple, familiar, logical transformation. For a Legion class figure, it's a 10. It's great. Everything moves nicely. Everything pegs nicely. Really, uh, now you might say there's a little bit of gappage here kind of at the middle of the body. And maybe, maybe I was just a little sloppy doing it. He rolls tremendously well. It'd be nice if there was silver on the rims. I guess you could add that yourself. It doesn't really bother me because he does have a, a nice color on his windows. I just wish the back window was colored. If there's even a, really a back window there, it doesn't look like it's molded in actually. Maybe there isn't the back window there. Uh, he rolls great. You see the port here. It's a five millimeter port. That's where you would put the energon igniter thing and he would, you know, take off across your table. Or you could put any five millimeter peg in there. I don't know, from a, like a blaster maybe. I don't know. I think they got a five millimeter, pe millimeter peg will fit in there. Also, his hands, I didn't say this, his hands in robot mode are three millimeter compatible. So if you have some three millimeter uh, blasters or accessories or something, they might work very well with this guy. Um, you know, I like it. It's it's not it's not going to set the world on fire by being you know fantastic and amazing, but it's cute for what it is. Overall, for a Legion class Bumblebee, this guy works really well. I think kids would find him fun. I'm going to say he's an eight and a half. It surprises me. It's a great Legion class figure if you're in for that size class. And here we are once again, and this is, of course, our little Bumblebee. It's a Legion class figure. A Legends class figure, to me, is what we have gotten in the recent generations lines. It's a little bit bigger, slightly heavier, and has better articulation. The minute that you take out elbows, and sometimes knees, something becomes a Legion class figure, especially when it gets lightweight. I put this more akin to the Legion class figures that we got in the R.I.D. line for size, weight, and articulation. Even detailing. It's undoubtable that this is Bumblebee, even though he doesn't have an Autobot symbol. That's strange to me. 
it, I, it's fun to flip back and forth. It's a great figure for that. It's fun if you like little iterations of characters. Again, this is one of those things where either you really have to like the gimmick of the Energonic Nitro Core, or you really have to like Legion class figures and accept that they have limited articulation. If either of those things aren't really your bag, then he's not really going to be your bag either. He's fine for what he is. He's not a standout as anything particularly good. He's certainly not a standout as anything particularly bad, though I do worry about the stiffness of those shoulder joints, and I don't know if it's just this copy or if it's widespread. Anyway, let me know what you think about the smallest iteration of Bumblebee for this new film. Do you like him? Do you not like him? I do like the fact that he is an officially licensed Volkswagen Beetle. I, I dig it. I absolutely like that he's a bug. Anyway, thanks for giving me some of your extremely valuable time. You know that it is very appreciated and that I love to hear from you guys. Again, I'm going to say please hit that subscribe button and help me out. And I very much look forward to the next time that you and I get together to have another visit inside the videos.